but I just really was stunned and heartbroken to see what I saw walking into that federal prison for women in Danbury, Connecticut. Now, I was an incarcerated woman, and that was um, quite a change from how I was accustomed to walking into prisons. But the fact of the matter is that um, you could just see very clearly in this very large prison in Connecticut the warehousing of black and brown people. And that was just something that really changed the course of my life. And it brought home to me how very uh, um, relevant this conversation is that we're having this morning. So I know that was a huge uh, intro to what we're talking about, but um, that's pretty much who I am. So now I, we started our organization, Families for Justice as Healing, within the prison yard in Danbury, Connecticut. And when I was released, I brought that organization outside with me. And so that's what we do. We are a legislative advocacy um, and policy organization, and we advocate for alternatives to incarceration for uh, people in general. Uh, but we have a focus unapologetically on the issue of women and incarceration. That was that was not at all a, a lengthy intro. I think that is the truth. 